Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today. We are talking about my Amazon favorites and my Amazon hated, if that makes sense. That doesn't rhyme. I think that was supposed to rhyme, but it didn't. Anyways, we're going to start with like kind of healthcare things. I only have two for this. I don't have a ton of stuff that I loved or a ton of stuff that I hated, but we're making a quick video. I'm going to give you all my favorite things and my least favorite starting with this first one i got these exercise bands because i don't know listen i'm on tiktok and you know there's fitness people on tiktok and you know you get the thing so i was like i'm tired of doing just normal like squats and leg lifts like by myself so i'm gonna get bands and make it a little bit more difficult for me i love these bands um when I bought them, I think they were like $8 or something. Now they've gone up because prices are freaking stupid now. Um, now they're almost $10, so... Which I still think is cheap. Because you get a variety of bands. So, I don't know. I don't know. Also, by the way, I'm going to put all of the links to all of these down below. I might put pictures in here too, so then you can see what I'm talking about. Um, if I forget the prices, then I'll just put it like somewhere over here. But, yeah, if you want to buy any of these things, you can buy them. I don't get money from this, obviously, but I don't know. I like these bands. I don't know. That's all I have to say about them. Very basic. Love them. Good. Good price. I don't have to walk to a freaking exercise store to get them, so whatever. Oh, they also came in a little bag, which I know is stupid. Like, oh, I'm excited about a little bag, but yeah. A little bag. They come in a little bag. I lost a little bag don't know where it is so I had about more so you know fun things um second thing the last thing in this little category that I have is toothbrushes listen I bought expensive toothbrushes since I was a kid because I thought it was important to buy like expensive ones that were like really firm to I don't know like do more cleaning I guess um and then I learned again on TikTok I'm on TikTok this dentist guy, I don't know his name, I don't know if he's real or anything, but he's been on my page. And you really shouldn't use hard bristled toothbrushes because they can hurt your teeth or hurt your gums. And I have very sensitive gums, like my gums are receding, I've known that since I was like 12 or something. Um, I don't have good teeth genetics, I don't have good teeth in general, I have a, a bajillion cavities, you know, you don't need to know that. but. Yeah, I switched to these toothbrushes. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable in my freaking car. Um, I heard these were really good. This brand was really good. I tried multiple toothbrushes from this brand. I didn't like them because they were, like, too soft and they didn't, like, clean my mouth. I don't know if I just wasn't using them right, but it just felt like there was stuff on my teeth and I didn't like that. So, I got these. It's a two-pack. It's literally less than $2.00. And I think I got them on sale too, so it was like a dollar. I think when I bought them, it was a dollar and eight cents. I remember that, I think. Or that was another type from that brand. Doesn't matter, but good. Good price. Love these. Save your TVs, maybe. Okay, so my next category for favorites is going to be makeup. Now, I'm not a makeup person. Like, I don't wear makeup. As in, like, I don't do, like, eyeshadow. I don't do, like, eyeliner. I used to. I don't know why I don't do it anymore. I just lost the skill for it. Like, anytime I try to do makeup, it fails miserably. But these are my, my two products that I use every day. I go to work wearing it right now all the time. Um, this eyebrow pencil, it's super cheap. It's like $7, $8. Um, my eyebrows are not great, I know. But I've been using it since I was a kid. It's cheap. I, like, get the subscription save thing whatever you like save 15% on like a subscription on Amazon that's not worth it unless you actually need it but I did it a long time ago and I need to cancel it but anyways I actually love the product it's not like professional or anything but that's what I use um next thing is this face powder now I have issues with face powder because my face is very oily like I'm breaking out like I know that you don't need to tell me um but my face is very oily and I cannot just go outside with my face because it's so oily and I just look like nasty and greasy totally fine 
by the way. It's just my insecurity. I don't like it. It makes me feel gross. I had an ex who made fun of my face, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is what I use daily. It's not the best. It's cheap. It's like seven or eight dollars. It's usually on sale, so you could get it for like seven, but if you have any recommendations for like how to degrease the face, don't give me skincare products because I've tried all of them. Trust me. Not really, but I need like a matte powder, not a foundation, not a concealer. I just need a powder that makes me less oily. And this is the only thing that doesn't break me out solely by using it. And it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't give me like a, a color because it's just translucent. That's what I buy. It's just a trans ugh, translucent color. And I just put it on my face to get rid of the freaking oiliness. It's not perfect but it's cheap. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, also I just realized there's this, there's a table back here. I'm sure you've seen that this whole video and been like, what the fuck? Um, yeah. Moving. Love that. But, yeah. This next category is just like random stuff. This is the last category I have for favorites. And then we're gonna go into hated stuff that I bought on Amazon, which I just decided to do this now. So I'm gonna be in my car digging through all of my Amazon purchases and finding everything that I hated so first thing that I really liked is this package of markers I wish I could show you I should have brought them because I love them but you get a ton of different color markers for like I don't even know it's like seven dollars I think super cheap a ton of colors they come with little erasers on top which is stupid because you know they they just don't last the erasers don't last you you need to have like a a real eraser you know what I mean but super cheap love them ton of colors cheaper than the freaking dollar store like get them if you have like a gyre race board get them um next thing is I don't know what to call it it's like a bunch of fake vines I have them somewhat in my room I have them on like one wall of my room right above my lizard tanks which was not a good idea because anytime I open the top of my lizard cage you probably have no idea what I'm talking about anytime I open the top of them it catches the leaves and the leaves fall so don't put them above a lizard cage they can also catch on fire so don't do that <sighs> what's wrong with me anyways I got a ton of them for like $20 a ton of them they smell horrible by the way the reviews all say that they smell horrible you have to wash them a bajillion times for the smell to go away but very cheap, good decorations. They look really good, actually. Kind of happy about that. And next thing, this is totally random. You probably don't have any interest in this unless you have like fish or reptiles or something. But a bunch of like syringes, not for anything bad. But when you do like water changes in a fish tank, you have to like pour in new chemicals like for water conditioner and bacteria, whatever. Um, and I kind of got tired of having to measure it in the little cup and then like spilling the chemicals everywhere. So I found these really cheap syringes. You get like 200, I think it was a hundred or 200 for like $7 or $6 or something like really cheap. So I'm using that instead of measuring out chemicals. You can also feed your animals little water syringes, which I will be doing to my lizard tonight probably. If he lets me. He's kind of mad at me today. Don't know why. Don't ask me. Ask him. But that is all for my favorites of Amazon. If you have any recommendations based on any of those random things, send them to me. I don't know how you would... I don't, know, I don't even know what information you get out of this, but you wanted to see this video, so we're doing it. Now let's go into hate it. Okay, so for this section, this area of hated, I only have two things, but I don't know if they were like scams, like I bought them from like a bad seller on Amazon, like I don't know. Um, so I don't, I don't know how to really rate these and be serious about them because maybe I just got lucky or maybe I bought from a really bad person. I don't know. I don't know. First thing, this freaking desk that I bought, it was $80 when I bought it. When I'm checking right now, 
it's sixty dollars i don't know but i don't know anyways bought the desk because it's cheap and we need a cheap desk because girl i'm starting school again in january and we have no desk i would have to be doing my school work like in my car or something i don't know or i would have to drive home instead of doing my homework at the, at the apartment so needed a desk bought it on amazon because it was 80 dollars. it had okay reviews like four stars or something it's fine whatever anyways i buy it we try to put it together this thing snaps it snaps like the bars that hold the desk if that makes sense like the bars that like stand the desk it just breaks it just breaks i don't we didn't even start putting it together and it broke and do i want to return a freaking desk do i even know if i can return the desk i probably can but we took the fucking desk out of the box like, how do I return that? It's a heavy desk, man. I'm sorry, I'm lazy. That's probably like, just return your freaking desk and get your $80 back. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. Okay, I don't want to do it. This stupid desk. I don't like it. That's my issue. That's my issue. I'm angry about that desk. I'm so mad. Okay, this second thing. I loved this product. I loved it. I loved it so much that I bought it like right when I bought it okay I bought it I used it for two weeks I was like okay I'm buying another one right now because I don't want to run out and then before I even open the second bottle I'm like I'm gonna buy a third I'm gonna buy a third I love this so much I'm gonna have a stockpile of it um so nothing is wrong with the product by the way love the product love it so much it's like ten dollars for this little vitamin c stuff I, why did I not say that before I don't know but it's vitamin C stuff you just put it on your face. It's good for acne scars. Worked for me. I don't have it because I can't buy it anymore. It's discontinued. But when I bought it the third time, I ordered it in early August or it was the month before. What month is that? July? July. I bought it in late July or early August. And every two weeks, it would be like, oh, sorry, your order has been delayed. Like, we'll let you know when we're shipping a new one. And I'm like, okay, like, girl, I'm fine. I've got a stockpile. Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm not even stressing. And then, like, the fourth time that happened, it was in October. I was like, okay, girl, I bought this in early August for my birthday in August. And it was supposed to be here before my birthday. It's October. It hasn't even shipped yet hasn't even shipped and there's no information like when am I gonna get it at this point because before this they were like oh you know it'll ship in a couple weeks hopefully we'll let you know but it should be here in like two to three maybe four weeks but we'll let you know you know this time in October they didn't say anything it was just like hey sorry this this thing isn't it looks like it's not shipping so like do you want to cancel your order? And I'm like, no. No, I don't want to cancel my order. I love this stuff. Like, give me, give me, give me my stuff. <sighs> I'm so mad about this too. I'm mad about the desk and I'm mad about this. So angry. Anyways, I'm like, I will wait. I want this. It's cheap. It's good. It works for my skin. I've tried other vitamin C stuff. It doesn't work as good for me. And now I'm breaking out because I don't have it. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm like, waiting on this, waiting on this. It's December when I'm filming this. I didn't even get a notification. It is unavailable. So, this company took my money. And I don't know how to get it back. I don't know if there's a way to cancel it at this point. Because right now, I can't even access the, like, page that it's on. So, hopefully I can show you on the Amazon website what it even is. But love the product, but holy crap, I ordered this in early August, and it is not here. Everything else in the order that I ordered at that time came in like two weeks. It was perfectly fine. Came in August. This stuff, girl, it's December. I haven't heard anything. The, the thing is unavailable. I can't buy more. 
I can't access my order of when I purchased it. It just says like order unavailable. So they have my money. I don't know. Maybe they don't have my money. Maybe I'm just saying they have my money and they don't. But girl, I was so excited to get that. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was kind of a mess a little bit, not gonna lie. But I'm trying to do weekly videos for December. We're gonna see how that goes. So quick videos, you know, I'm gonna film another one I think right now. So I'll see you next week, hopefully. Anyways, bye.